Dear judges, hello once again. My name is Ray and I am Team PHSS CSAD 13 from Peihua Secondary School, Singapore. I know basic Python as well as C which I will use to assist me in the finals this time. I am currently participating in the RCAP Cold Space Auto Driving U19 category. During the preliminary round, while trying to get the robot to pass through all the checkpoints within the shortest period of time, there were some issues, such as getting the robot to turn after a specified amount of time to achieve a shortcut that would have greatly cut down the amount of time the robot took to go from start to end. However, finally, after many instances of trial and error, I managed to enable the robot to take the shortcut instead of the longer route, thus saving me a lot of time. The task, seemingly simple, was extremely daunting, or so to speak. The challenge of getting the robot to pass through all checkpoints as soon as possible can be broken down into three parts. 1. Line following 2. Stopping at the checkpoint and 3. Detecting color patches These three parts of the challenge, or I should say, mini tasks, when solved separately, can solve the overall challenge and mission. Here are the three mini tasks. 1 line following or getting the vehicle to track down the position of the line and follow it accordingly. 2. Stopping at checkpoint involving the use of the color sensor to detect the presence of the checkpoint color orange and to stop for 2 seconds while flashing the LED light and moving on afterwards. And lastly, the third part, color sensing consisting of the color sensor on the robot's right to sense a certain patch of color and proceeding to do a specialized task. Here, as you can see, is the main part of my C code. Stopping at orange, the checkpoint color. This may seem confusing, but it can be broken down into simpler parts with the help of this pseudocode. At the first line, the robot is moving on to the next state or the next stage of the code. Afterwards, if the game state or the stage where the robot is is 15 or any number, it will then proceed to move the robot with a speed of 36. It will keep on moving until it sees orange, and if it does, it will move on to the next state or the next stage of the code. If the game state slash stage where the robot is equals to 16, then the LED will start flashing, which is one of the two actions that the robot will carry out. Afterwards, it the stop for two seconds, which is the second action. As shown in a seventh line, if actions one and two have been carried out for two seconds, the robot will move on to the next state or the next stage of the code. At the eighth line, if the game state or the stage where the robot is equals to 17, the robot will turn off the LED and continue moving at a speed of 25. And lastly, if the robot senses a differently colored color patch, it will move on to the next state. Next, 
the C code previously shown can also be represented by this flow chart. From the red box, start. And then on to the blue box, where the robot will move at a speed of 36. The purple box, while true, meaning that while the robot moves at a speed of 36, when it detects orange, it will stop for 2 seconds and flash the LED. If the duration is 2 seconds, then it will continue moving to the third blue box, which is moving the robot at 36 speed again, which will end the code afterwards. For the prelims, I used C to complete the challenge map. It is advantageous as C allows the copy and pasting for repeated parts of code within. C code is also designed in a very orderly and systematic form such as with their game state functions so that they are simple to understand. Mostly, the robot went as how I had planned and coded because I took into consideration many precise and accurate timings and calculations when writing my code. However, sometimes some issues with timing errors arose, but fortunately they could be resolved with trial and error because the problems encountered were only due to the issues in the timing of the robot's movements. In conclusion, for the preliminary results, I was not very pleased even though I finished the challenges and the mini tasks. There were plenty of opportunities to take more shortcuts to further reduce the timing the robot took to finish the map, but I failed to take on such chances and did not do more research and experimentation so as to allow the robot to move much, much more efficiently. Nevertheless, the robot still did manage to finish the map, which is sufficient enough at the very least. In fact, if I were asked to solve the same challenge again, I would prioritize and plan my time better so that I will have more resolve to finish the challenge without getting distracted during the competition duration. Finally, learning CoSpace and using CoSpace Robot, I have learned two things. I have learned and furthered my understanding of C code with the progression of the competition. Another thing that I've learned and wish to share to my fellow competitors is that one should keep giving their all and never give up until they reach the end goal. Thank you.